the name of the problem is uh, the hunter and the poor monkey. Now the story is we have a hunter who is trying to hunt a mon monkey. He's standing over here uh, with his rifle in his hand pointed directly at a monkey who is at the top of a tree. I'm not sure whether that looks like a monkey or not. Okay, now he is standing a distance L from the tree. The hunter is standing a distance L from the tree. The, the height here, we'll call that H. Now, the question is, the hunter fires his rifle uh, and he aims right at where the monkey is. And at the same time as he fires his rifle, the monkey reflexively just lets go of the branch and starts falling down from the tree. And, of course, the bullet flies towards the monkey, and of course we have gravity acting on the bullet, so it will uh, curve downwards, and the monkey will fall down. Now the question is, uh, will the bullet hit the monkey or not? Will the monkey be saved, or will the poor monkey be shot? Now, uh, of course, we have a few parameters here. He's aiming, or we can call this angle theta, he's aiming uh, angle theta above the horizontal. Of course, that also defines H and L. Uh, and, of course, we have gravity acting downwards, gravitational acceleration G. Now, uh, how do we go about solving this problem? Now, since we are physicists, we are, uh, we always neglect air drag. So, essentially, uh, we assume that the, uh, the, velocity, the motion of the bullet in the x direction and the y direction are independent of each other. And uh, the bullet in the x direction, with whatever velocity it started, it will perform uniform motion. And in the y direction, it will accelerate downwards uh, with the acceleration of gravity. So if we put that into equation, so we can say it will just move linearly with time towards the right. Is that right? No. no. Obviously not. Uh, now this is right. Okay. So your uh, velocity in the x direction will just be a constant. And in the y direction, you will start with a certain vy, but then you will be accelerating downwards. So it will decelerate with gt. Now, by writing these equations, I have, in fact, defined my coordinate system. I put it somewhere, more or less. I have defined x to be to the right and y to be upwards. So. Initial velocity is upwards, and uh, g is down, so that's why I have a minus sign there. So, uh, now of course, this is the equation for the bullet. Now, how does the monkey move? Initially, the monkey is at rest, and then it lets go of the branch. And then, uh, it doesn't move at all in the x direction. So, uh, dy dt of the monkey is just going to be what? And, uh, and it's not going to move in the x direction at all. So, uh, 
of course, from this, I need to get the positions. Now, the idea is uh, I need to know when the bullet will reach the, the position of the tree in the x direction, and I want to know where the monkey is at that instant in time. So uh, from here, I can say that just by integrating this, I get x of the bullet is vx times t plus a constant, which is obviously its initial position. Since I placed my uh, axes right here, so I define this, the, the tip of the rifle, as x equals 0. Uh, so this constant is going to be 0. So I can just get rid of that instead of putting a 0. So that is the case. And in here I get y of the bullet is by times t minus 1 half gt squared uh, plus we have another constant which is the y position of the bullet at t equals 0. Since I put that at the origin again, that constant is also 0. So, uh, how about the monkey? Now, uh, the x position of the monkey uh, is just constant and it's L at the beginning, so it's always going to be L. And uh, the y position of the monkey is going to be what? Uh, one half gt squared plus a constant. Now this constant is not zero because initially the monkey was high up in the tree. It was at a uh, height h. So at t equals zero, uh, y must be h. So this c is h. Now, I want to know when the bullet reaches the distance L. So, x bullet is vx times t, and that is L. So this happens at t equals L over vx. So now I know at what point in time the bullet is on this line at the tree. Now, uh, at that exact time, at what height is the bullet and at what height is the monkey is the question. Uh, so, the bullet. It's vy times t uh, minus 1 half gt squared. So vy times t is just L over vx minus 1 half g L squared over vx squared. That's the y bullet. And y monkey. This is h minus 1 half g l squared over vx squared. No, this is, it's correct, right? It's correct. Okay. Now, uh, these don't look quite the same. But, <laughs> uh, why don't they look the same? Because I did, I used too many variables. They don't look the same, but they are the same. Uh, how? Now, uh, if I use the parameter theta, which sets the relation 
of the direction you are aiming and also L and H. Now the thing is uh, simply the X is whatever the initial velocity of the bullet is, V0 when it exits the rifle, uh, the rifle is just V0 cos theta and Vy is uh, V0 sine theta by simple trigonometry and uh, just again by using this right triangle over here, you can see that tangent theta is h over l, which is also sine theta over cosine theta. Now, uh, if I just change which part? It's better to do this, Vy over Vx is also, what, tangent theta, right? So the Y bullet is uh, L tangent theta minus one half G, uh, that's what? L squared over V zero squared uh, cos squared theta. And Y monkey is, now H is, yes? yes. Yes, yes, right here. You're saying uh, H is just L tangent theta. So uh, Y monkey is just L tangent theta minus one half G L squared over V zero squared cos squared theta. So. Exactly the same. Now, and it's independent of the bullet's initial velocity. Uh, the only condition for the monkey to be shot is that the hunter aimed directly at the monkey to start with. And the other condition is, of course, that, well, the bullet does reach the tree without hitting the ground first. Otherwise, uh, in any case, the monkey gets, the poor monkey gets perfectly shot. Uh, in fact, there is an excellent video of this experiment, which was done at MIT. I think they used a balloon, right? No. It was a monkey. It was a monkey? Real monkey? No, no not a real monkey. Okay. I hope you liked the video. And yes, that this is the solution. Yes.